We're going to start with searing off the chuck steak, which is shoulder of beef. So I'm just going to put some olive oil. I brought this up to the room temperature, so I took it out of the fridge probably about an hour ago. You want to get your pan on a really nice high heat. We're going to season it. I'm using some molding and then some fresh cracked black pepper. Once the pan gets up to temperature, one positive, I suppose, of this induction cooker is it happens fast. Put it down, sear it, season the other side, and I'll show you the look we're going for, nice and crispy and caramelised. This is what we're looking for, nice and caramelised. I'm going to do that on both sides before adding the slow cooker. What we're going to do is add your vinegar to deglaze the pan. And your wine. And we're going to turn that up in high heat, reduce by half, and then add that into the slow cooker as well. So to the steak, you're going to add your reduced vinegar and wine and also your chicken stock pot and water. Slice up my onions really finely so I'm just going to break them slightly into the dish as well and then I've peeled my carrot and I'm just going to shave that so using your peeler shave the carrot. You can chop it up into chunks if you want it will be soft because we're slow cooking it but I like the, the strips. Peeled carrot, just like that. And the, the slow cooker. All I'm doing is finally chopping the red peppers and then adding them in as well. And then putting in two tablespoons of tomato puree. There we go. I'm going to prepare the garlic and the parsley. So I'm just going to roughly chop the parsley and I'm just going to slice the garlic because I like wee bits of garlic through it. You can finely chop it if you want. Then we're going to add your two teaspoons of salt. All your herbs and spices. Herbs and spices. Sorry, somebody phoned me there. But not least we're going to pour in the tomato passata and you're also going to just rinse out this carton just with a little bit of water as well there we go. and then you're just going to stick that on a low heat to cook for about eight to ten hours or overnight if you can once your stew has been slow cooking for the desired amount of time i want you to pull out the steak and we're just going to shred that up with the with a couple of forks basically and it should just break apart and shred i've also removed the bay leaves because you don't eat them so i want to remove them from the stew and just put them in the bin and although i've got probably about 600 grams of uh, meat, I'd probably recommend maybe about a kilo of meat for the amount of sauce. So what I'm going to do is put this in a pot, add in some of the sauce, reduce it, heat it up a little more and serve it with some nice crusty bread. The sauce should look like this. So if you're quite happy with it, you can leave as is. I sometimes like to reduce it slightly, so just simmer it on a heat. You can do it in this as long as you're not doing it too high or you can decant it into another pot and just heat it up and reduce down the sauce slightly. I'm still finding wee bits of beef in here. Oh, look at that. And just because I've totally forgot whilst making this video, um, and I'll put it in as an optional extra, but if you want to add capers, add in the capers um, before separating out, etc. They're just a an additional garnish at the end and the parsley to serve.